I am here with Taylor and Zach Hansen. How's it going, guys? Welcome to Dallas. Have you guys been here before? Uh, we have been here before. Yes. Dallas Interesting. is... Interesting. Uh, People keep asking us if we've been to Dallas before. Like, well, you know, Dallas is pretty much go through here, you know, touring and, and playing shows all over the country and the world. Da Dallas right. is definitely At some point, a stop. Yeah, you got to yeah. end up here. Yeah. We're, also, we're from Tulsa. Tulsa, Tulsa. Oh, okay, so, so that's like, what, four hours away? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. very cool. Yeah. Now, what, what brings you guys to AFI Dallas? Uh, we're here because we produced a documentary called Strong Enough to Break. Um, the film was basically about letting people inside kind of the world of what artists go through in today's especially today's corporate music business right. and kind of our struggle to make our last record in that sort of changing business and then ultimately our decision to start our own record company and you know, become an independent band. Yeah. Now, how was the experience making the film? Well, it's, it's, it's long. definitely uh, it's long. <laughs> long. I think it was four years of filming yeah. and, years, right? uh, and documenting uh, your life and it's, it's definitely a personal film, uh, but also, you know, just I think it, it gives people something that you've, you've never seen, especially in a music film, a, a film about uh, you know, documentaries that have been out there. Um, and so, I don't know, it's, it's a long process, but a labor of love, it's similar to making albums. Yeah, sort of a way of pulling back the curtain a little bit, letting people see what really goes on. Well, I think we felt like, you know, what's going on in the music business now, it's seeing this growing corporate change where companies are losing their identity and the music business doesn't know where you know where is up. Yeah. Um, Record well, sales are down. Radio listenership is down. Yeah. We wanted to show people sort of. Originally, it didn't start out as hey, let's show people what's wrong with the business. It started out about a music film, and it proved what was wrong about the music business. And yeah. so, ultimately, we were one example of, of. We decided to get out of that system, start our own record company, and a lot of bands are you know still faced with that question. And I think. Film fans, music fans, both can look at that and go, here's a really interesting, very honest, you know, microcosm of, of today, you know, what's happening right now yeah. in, the, in the music business. Now, did you guys meet with any opposition from music executives? Because, I mean, obviously, there there's probably a lot of things they don't want people to know about. Yeah, sure. I, I think... Uh there, there was definitely some, and yeah. uh, but surprisingly, uh, we, you know, we, we got releases from everybody as we were filming them, and and that really didn't end up being a problem as we went forward because uh, it's hard to dispute what what you actually do when it's sitting there in front of you. So now the big question everybody's probably going to want to know is when's the next album? Um, we have a new album that comes out in the summer. It's called The Walk. Um, and actually, an interesting thing is we've continued to kind of document this record, and we on iTunes you can actually go to something called Taking the Walk um, to sort of see the continuation of the, of the last film, sort of watch it more as it happens. It's a video podcast, yeah, so, so you can download this whole film, Star Enough to Break, which is playing at AFI, and then you can also download new uh, pieces that go forward and talk about what we're doing now and, and show you continued documentation of the new record. Yeah. Take it up a notch. Exactly. Are you guys on MySpace? Uh, we are on MySpace. <laughs> is, is everyone on MySpace? Yeah, yes. But is it really you on MySpace? on MySpace. Well, <laughs> yes. well cool. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. No, it's just because I know that a lot of people have MySpace pages, but it seems to me like people in the music industry are really starting to use that as a way to connect with their fans. And actually, a lot of the musicians I've talked to run their own pages and respond to their own comments and everything. So I just didn't know if you guys... Well, there's there's a lot of people on there that aren't us. Right. You know, there's, there's, there's Hanson, but not Hanson. But, I mean, what's happening with MySpace is just a reaction, I think, to how their music business has sort of fallen apart and also a hunger from fans. It's you want to be able to connect with people right. and use some way to really build a connection with, with an audience and that's what MySpace allows people to do. So. Yeah. And that's how you hold on to them. Yeah, well, exactly. yeah I think we're, we're really lucky that our, our fans are all our age and so we're, we're sort of that, the first generation to really grasp onto the internet and know that through your whole life and so I think for us, we're lucky that our fans have always been very savvy with the internet and been able to use that as a tool to continue to fuel your fan base. When you're in between records and, and doing uh, putting music out on your website, the, the in between projects so that you can always keep people fresh and up to date with what you're doing. All right, tell them where to go. Uh, go to Hanson.net for Hanson and uh, strongenoughtobreak.com is where you can find information about the film. Very cool. Zach, Taylor, thanks so much. Pleasure to meet you guys. Yeah, no, thanks.